Well, folks, uh, good morning and a pleasant welcome. We are live here at the Supreme Court, that is the Temple of Justice, where Mr. Cummins is expected to uh, be, and he's already here. And today is the ruling into the motion that was filed by the government, by the government to uh, to, sub to subpoena Mr. Cummins to provide the CPP framework document. So, Trojan, good morning. Here we are again today. Yeah, James, uh, and let me say good morning to all of our viewers out there. Uh, we are and we are live from uh, the Supreme Court. Mr. Cummins, you see in the black uh, jeep there, that's a right, uh, but it seems like just like the other day, um, the judge is probably not ready yet. And so, uh, Mr. Cummins is still in that vehicle. Uh, they came here purposely today. Uh, there is a ruling that the, the judge is supposed to give. You all remember last week when they were here, um, the court, uh, of course, the, the prosecutors prayed for Mr. Kumis to produce the original copy of uh, the CPP framework document to which uh, the, 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 uh, the, the defendant, of, uh, of course, responded that uh, they can't. They shouldn't be the ones uh, producing um, evidence against themselves. So following the, uh, the hearing, the judge uh, reserved ruling. So today, the judge is uh, expected to hand down uh, the ruling on whether Mr. Kumis, as prayed for by the prosecution, will be uh, bringing evidence against itself that, that is producing the original document of the free, or the original framework document of the CPP or not. And that's why we are here purposely. And so Mr. Kumis is still in that vehicle uh, there, awaiting uh, maybe signals from the court that everything is set for him to go in. So uh, uh, let's see what's going to be the outcome today. But I'm still thinking whether the judge is going to uh, grant that uh, subpoena. If it is going to be granted today, then it means that this case will now uh, take another trend. Yeah, in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a way, there are several ways uh, that that could, that, that could happen. Uh, I'm told that uh, in, in cases of civil matters, in civil matter cases, uh, uh, the, it, is, it is possible or it can happen that the defendant can be told to bring evidence. But in cases uh, of, uh, of, of criminal, you know, criminal uh, intended cases like this one, uh, it, is, it is often rare that the defendant will be asked to bring up evidence against themselves. So uh, looking at it, I don't know what the ruling would be, but I, 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 I might, I'm, I'm thinking, my thinking is that probably uh, the, the defendant or I mean the, the, the prosecution will be told to uh, bring their evidence that indeed uh, they have against Mr. Kumis in this uh, forgery and criminal conspiracy case. But uh, another thing that some would say would be, why will uh, the ANC, that is the ALP, and those who are collaborating with them come to court without the framework document? Where did they see all of the manipulation they are talking about reaching from the uh, forgery and other things? How did they recognize when they don't have the original framework uh, document? That would be another debate well, I see, on, uh, from the Cummins lawyers. Yeah, definitely. But I see this as... as wanting to prove a point you know the, the allegation or the accusation here is that uh, mr kumis mr kumis uh, altered the original framework document that's the allegation all right now if that is the case what the what the, the, the point they want to prove here is that let mr kumis at the time he was head of the cpp bring the original document and then we will prove to you with this other document, if there is an original document uh, different from the one that they have right now, we'll prove to you that he indeed altered one or two lines from the document. So that's what they're trying to prove, that if Mr. Kumis can produce the, um, the original framework document against himself, then of course they will then use it to point out what they have currently as, as, as the altered document so that they, they, they can prove a point that indeed Mr. Kumis uh, uh, sort of altered the document, but um, uh, and that is what uh, Mr. Kumi's lawyers are fighting against are doing. So if they think they have evidence, let them bring the two documents, the original and the one that they say has been altered, to prove the, the discrepancies or, the, or, 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 or what has been altered in it. And that's exactly what is uh, obtaining here now. So uh, 
again, uh, the debate is still uh, many uh, in the streets. Some are saying Benina Ure and his team are playing politics with this framework document. Uh, he has no case, but he's trying to, you know, get comments out of the entire presidential race. That is why he keeps on bringing these things, because you cannot come to court when you don't have a document and you claim that somebody manipulated the system. Uh, where is the case? And today, we're going to know, and I think this is going to be a very big turnaround in this case, pending the outcome, whether the comments team will be uh, told to bring the document or uh, there will be that is the prosecution will be denied if the prosecution will be denied today it is still a new trend in this uh, entire uh, saga well uh, uh, James uh, you, you should know that uh, even, uh, the, 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 the process started uh, the, 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 the prosecution prayed for additional days uh, to sort of uh, uh, gather its evidence uh, yeah. they prayed for additional days to do so so one may think that this is just another ploy by them because following the ruling today, uh, another hearing, the date of another hearing was set. This gives them ample time to maybe gather the evidence that they say they have against Mr. Kumis, uh, you know. They have against Mr. Kumis. So as it is right now, um, uh, as we speak, you know, all of these are, are, are legal proceedings, if you may, that uh, the prosecution can take advantage of. They come today, uh, they bring up this, and then they go back for another week, come up, bring so, up another so, thing. So that's how they will continue they can, with it? They can, they, 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 maybe I'm just saying that that, that that could be another ploy, that could be another tactic uh, put in place by the prosecution until they can uh, get all of the evidence that they need against Mr. Kumis. But as it is right now, I'm sure following the ruling, and, and this is going to be a landmark, I mean a hallmark uh, uh, ruling today, I mean uh, from the judge, whatever it is, once the judge rules, whether it would, it would, it would also uh, send a signal as to the, uh, the, 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 the how this case is going to turn out, because this very document is key, is very, very key to the outcome of the case. So whatever it is, if the judge rules that Mr. Kumis brings the document or if the judge rules that the that the, that the prosecution brings the document, then of course it, it is going to be crucial because from that document, uh, with the uh, with the, what we have now, that they're saying was it was allegedly altered, we're going to know exactly how this case may end up. So uh, again, like like all other days, Cummins has always been here in time. We are yet to see uh, the government's legal team headed by the solicitor general, but let's wait and see whether he's going to be here. But again, today he came very earlier. But one thing that I observed today, uh, I don't know whether you observe it, the chief of office staff came very soon. Is it because the last time he came late and he was, you know, being questioned about his lateness today? He's, he's, he's you know, uh, part of the Kumis team and he's sitting right beside Kumis. And I think that was a mistake for him during the last appearance. And thank God he worked on that. Yeah, that's uh, Eisenbach Tukman, of course. Uh, he's here as early as uh, he should be. And I think they're set. I think uh, uh, from what I've noticed so far, the, the prosecution, I mean the defendant, uh, that is Mr. Kumis and, and the others who are accused, uh, that camp is feeling uh, more confident, uh, you know, as it is. Except there is some ruling that may come out uh, that may put them, uh, you know, put them in a position that they may start feeling some bit of unease. But as it is right now, uh, they, 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 they feel more confident, especially after uh, the, the defendant decided to ask them to bring uh, evidence against themselves. So they, they, they think it, they're not thinking is that, oh, these guys have nothing against us, you know, nothing to hold us, uh, so they want us to produce our own evidence against ourselves. So I think it's, it, they have big confidence, that's why you see them come here as early, that's why you see their supporters always here. And I see more supporters in yeah. today than the last appearance, and even the security protocol is not really, uh, you know, harsh like the way it was. And Kumis is making his way back, let's see, yeah, maybe Kumis he's now, think, uh, about to uh, enter the courtroom. Let's, let's move in, if we can talk to him. Well, so so you can point him as soon as he gets down, I let's see. Kumis telling us that uh, uh, he will speak to us after the process. Yeah, uh, just, let's, let's just try our luck. Yeah, Mr. Kumis. It's, 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 it's so here comes. He's disembarking his vehicle. Uh, here is uh, Mr. Kumis.
Um, uh, Mr. Kumis, good morning, sir. You're here in the day. Yes. So the police on justice are still very slowly. Okay. Is it so that the police are moving so slowly? No, it's not. I think it's deliberate that they're moving slowly. Okay. All right. So there you hear it. It's not in. It's not in favor uh, of the fight that the, the 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 hearing or the trial is moving very slowly. And that's how I was saying, James. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's that's exactly what I was saying. It could be applauded by the prosecution to sort of delay and delay and keep bringing on these things that will keep, you know, delaying the What is it that they will want to achieve well, if we keep delaying? Well, um, they initially asked for a couple of days more to produce their evidence, which they were denied. Uh, and then, uh, these, 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 these I mean, proceedings, these are delays, but uh, maybe uh, that uh, probably, yes, that's why the police is all right. So, so it is probably the, the reason why uh, why they they, they they delay so that uh, they, they will not they will, they will they will play more to the advantage to the advantage of uh, the prosecution in this uh, case were to delay more so that uh, we can get all of the facts together against Mr. Kumi. And for Mr. Kumi, he thinks that that, that will play to his uh, disadvantage. If, uh, the more delay, of course, the more the people will get evidence against him. Yes, that's why. So let's see how how long they're going to stay in here today and what's and what's going to be the outcome. I'm told Serena Sifa is already in. Uh, he and his team, they are already in. So maybe in the next 30 minutes, we're going to be we're going to be getting worse from the team. This is just, okay, we have one of the accused. Uh, I think maybe he's through with his test. Uh, no, and on the 22nd. Yeah, and on the 22nd. Yeah, okay. So uh, Alosha still needs to be in court today. So he's here, and I'm sure uh, Senator Daniel Nathan is also here. Uh, so you all saw Mr. Kumi. So the whole team, both the defendant and the prosecution, they're in there now. And so they're going to uh, sort of uh, discuss and decide uh, through the judge. I think the judge is just going to give down his rulings. So I don't think this should take long. Uh, except following the ruling of the judge, uh, there might be something else or some other issues that uh, may come up that they may be deliberating. But uh, this should not take long. And then another schedule, I'm sure, is going to be made on when uh, Mr. Pumis and others should reappear here. Yeah. So if you're just joining us, we are here at the Temple of Justice where Mr. Arizona Comins and the ALP case is currently on the way. Uh, right in the courtroom, everyone is in now. And the case is still within the Morovia City Court. And today the judge will be coming out. He, he will be coming down with a ruling whether or not Mr. Cummins issue. Whether or not we should uh, continue seeing this case, that is, Kumi should be allowed to bring his uh, legal documents. That is the legal document, a guy in the uh, CPP, that has to do with the framework document. All right, so uh, lawyers and others are still moving into the court. And right after here at 5 p.m., we have been told that Mr. Kumi will uh, be giving his, um, should I call it anti sona <laughs> Yeah, it is anti. Yeah, he will because be, he's not going to be supporting the president. Yeah, he's going to be speaking um, against some of what the president said, laying down his basis for which he thinks the president uh, uh, did not say uh, the things that like when people needed to hear. The Unity Party has already done that. And of course, uh, Mr. Alexander Cummings will be doing his uh, later on uh, this afternoon at 5 o'clock, right after here. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a busy day for him. And of course, uh, you're watching Spring TV. And like always, we are bringing you uh, the happenings as they unfold um, right here. But today we are at the Supreme Court once more uh, to bring you uh, exactly what is obtaining here concerning this uh, particular case involving uh, Mr. Alexander Cummings and uh, two others of the, um, the ANC. Of course, uh, James Google Flomo is here. My name is Strogan. Um, uh, assisting us is Stroke on Flama, and we are here making sure that you have it as it comes in, uh, as, as, as it comes in right here. So they've gone in now, and all we can do is just uh, wait.
put our piece, wait until they get out, and then we will know exactly what uh, what is what is obtaining. Uh, one of those from the civil society movement, uh, John Pangbe, he's here. John just uh, uh, come before our. Okay, this is John Pangbe. Uh, John, um, welcome to Spoon TV. Thank you. Uh, what are you here for? Well, you see the tag on my neck and show that we had our ZFP. Uh, we are from the civil society angle. We have the civil society, uh, the social and civil society organization. What are you observing exactly? Well, we, usually we come here, we are allowed to enter and go on a ZFP case. Uh, the, the, this case is a legal one. But again, we have to keep our eyes on it because it has the opportunity to reveal the peace. And, uh, because we saw the situation that far back. Uh, well, what makes you to, think so? What makes you think this legal process has a proclivity of derailing the peace? I think so because we saw the situation that went on that that you wanted a violence where few uh, police officers you know, got wounded. You know, when they, 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 the ASC pool was here and then uh, they were being stopped from entering the, the court. The, the court mm -hmm. And then they, they protested. Uh, they led to something different. So we just want a situation we're going to observe and see why it's so much bad. No. So we'll be able to you know, give our own impact or judgment into the process. That's so, why we're so, uh, so we're not be, we're not being able to enter. You see the full barrier before we're gonna enter. You've been entering on the other days. Uh, yeah, yeah, we have been entering. We have been entering. And today, entering. And today you have been barred from entering. We've been barred from entering because I said that most of the people enter you know, on the seven note. At the end of the day, you know, they they get able to flood there. And then we saw something different. I don't oh. know. I don't know about it. Okay, but uh, the president did speak and uh, in his State of the Nation address, uh, the president boasted, uh, which um, is, is, is actually the fact that there is no political prisoner in Liberia. So what do you think this case uh, is going to have on that statement by the president? Well, I, I think the, the, the case will be followed, the legal trend will be followed. Because if the president says so, then that means uh, we take you what he said. But you do agree and that uh, there's, there's no political person in Liberia? I don't know of one yet until you know, they established because we are not all over. They, know, they are out they are out they are out of uh, prison compliance, prison area, in your area, in your area. But don't you even ask in the PM media, we know we need to know exactly what is happening. Yeah, they are, there are being political prisoners, you know, currently, you know, who are being raised by this time. But again, we are not seeing it. But when he I saw him wants us to be careful and this is a political case, like I said to them. We all need to put our all the air so that it don't, they do not breathe the level where they will take us to the, the bad end of our, our bad end of our, our dark days. Okay, finally. That's what we are saying to the people. If the person has said that go to the other person, that means this situation may not, may not evolve to the point where there will be, be one. We just hope right now that they live like that. Okay, now my finally, before I take leave of you, or before you take leave of us, um, uh, tell us. Hey. How have you rated the case so far in terms of openness, in terms of uh, uh, transparency and all of that? How, how would you rate the case so far well, since been, you've I, been observing? Uh, the, I think the case is proceeding well. Uh, government lawyers were told the last time to go and bring evidence. They came back and they were requesting the defense to bring evidence. I think, you know, it's not, I, I don't to show that you will have a defendant to bring evidence against himself. But again, that's a matter of law. You know, I'm, I'm very certain that today, uh, the evidences that they requested for will be brought by the particular lawyer, and then we can be able to move it. But I, I see fair play so far. I see okay. fair play so far. All right, thanks a lot, John. Thank you. That's uh, John Pangwe there. He's of uh, the consortium of civil society movement, and he's, uh, uh, he's been talking to us here. He's been uh, observing. Uh, this particular case since the genesis uh, but unfortunately and he's been observing from inside uh, but today uh, unfortunately for him he's been uh, told that they will not be allowed to enter uh, because according to uh, the the sheriffs if you may if they're saying that uh, hey you can't enter because usually will allow you people to enter it brings about over uh, the over uh, flooding of the of the of the courthouse, and so I think they've been given strict uh, order not to allow people who are not concerned, so to speak, with this case uh, to enter. And so you are here watching Spoon TV live from the Temple of Justice uh, on Capitol Hill.
uh, where, of course, almost all of the six, the three, in fact, the three branches of government, um, um, the, 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 the executive, uh, the judiciary, as well as the legislature, uh, they, are, they are right here on Capitol Hill uh, in Monrovia. If you're someone who's been to Liberia before uh, or who is still in Liberia, then uh, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, so we are here, and um, from the yard you can see, um, from, from the yard you can see, of course, um, uh, the presence of uh, some supporters of uh, the 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 the, the uh, ANC, and not only supporters. I'm sure there are others here from uh, other political parties as well who have come to observe and some civil seven. I mean, some uh, civil society uh, pers uh, personalities who are also here, like John Pang, that we just spoke with. And so they are here. In this case is indeed uh, a, a big political case here in Liberia. Um, as uh, yeah, most the opposition. Uh, it is the government, though, that is persecuting us. It is by law that, uh, that it is the government that is supposed uh, to persecute all criminal cases brought forth uh, to court. And so, uh, but this case was not uh, brought on by the government, and that should be made clear. It was brought on by another political, uh, opposition political party in uh, the ALP. Uh, they were they were they were they were it was, it was brought on by, 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 by them against one of their own, uh, Mr. Alexander Cummings. They all belonged uh, to, um, or should I say they all belonged to the, um, the CPP. The CPP. They are still part of the CPP. Yeah, they are still part of the CPP, although unofficially some of them have uh, stated openly that they will be leaving the CPP, but yeah. they have not done so officially. And so, yeah, so this case is amongst opposition that is being prosecuted by the government. So much so that some people are saying that this is playing to the advantage of the government, G. Yes, it is playing to the advantage. That is why the government is uh, giving to this, though they should be into it. But if you see more government supporters are in support of Mr. Uh, Mr. Yure because they believe that if Yure is, uh, you know, if Yure uh, wins this case, at the end of the day, he's going to help the government and Kumis is going to be somehow restricted from doing sort of things in terms of politics. Yeah, and, and, and if Kumin is brought down guilty as per our law, of course, effectively, uh, he will be disbarred from contesting uh, the 2023 election because on the basis that uh, he will be a convict, a criminal, if you may, and then um, he will not participate in the 2023 election. We don't know whether it's going to be a jail, uh, whether it's going to be a sentencing uh, for that. But then if that happens, and then of course, uh, going back on President George Mia's statement on uh, Monday, that there is no political prisoner in Liberia, Kumis is going to be the first high profile uh, political prisoner uh, uh, during his, under his administration. So we're looking keen to see what happens. Uh, what's and the, outcome and of this case the Solicitor the General also said the punishment there, if you are found guilty, uh, if Kumis is found guilty, he may likely spend like 36 months in prison or one year. So, so that would be it, and uh, so Mr. Cummins, if that is if he is brought down guilty, will be uh, maybe the first political prisoner uh, on the. But the uh, question is, will Cummins go to jail, or if he's found guilty, will he go to jail, or there will be another way to say, hey, you can buy your jail sentence, you can pay for it. No, I, I, well, it do we have that system? Uh, no, people, people. Uh, are usually people are usually uh, you know either jailed or not either based on the judges' uh, uh, judgment. And of course, uh, if for example the judge sees you as not being a, a flight risk, for example, uh, while serving your sentence, uh, you could escort the country, you could you could run away and not serve. In the, in the, in the judge in the judge's own uh, you know view, he could say okay. He can stay, uh, people can uh, monitor him, for him mm -hmm. monitor so that he doesn't leave the country as long as he serves his punishment. Or he can be placed under a house arrest when he doesn't leave the confines of his premises guarded by uh, security. Or 
better yet, uh, but in this particular case, it's not. Once, once you are a, once you are convicted, it is not something that people pay a bill or any bond for you to be released on on, on bond while you serve. So you got to serve. So if Mr. Pumi is brought down guilty, either one of these things, uh, he's out of place under house arrest or he goes to common jail, uh, like any other company. But the period required, and if he stays there for about maybe two, three, four, five months. And uh, his, his, his demeanor, he, he composed himself well and all of that, then maybe there may be some clemency or, 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 or that. Uh, but, at the, but the bottom line is that uh, police, if he is convicted, will be the first, maybe next year now when President Weah goes to give his uh, 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 State of the Nation address. He's going to pronounce it. You uh, will say, <laughs> say there is no political prisoner in Liberia except one. <laughs> and who will be that one? Mr. Police. Will we see that? So, so uh, let, 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 let's keep following. Uh, you, you listen to Kumis uh, when he was entering. He, he's, he's not happy about the delay in the case. Is that he has picture that this case is going to be uh, prolonged for the next couple of months. Uh, this is the first time for Kumis to come out to say, hey, uh, I'm not happy due to the way the case is being prolonged. What is happening? What, what has Kumis, you know, heard from the outside world? What, what are they telling him? Uh, what are the time duration that uh, people are giving him as information regarding this case? Is it that Kumis is seeing this case to last for the next one year that today he's complaining about the duration or the, uh, the delay that is being, you know, uh, practicing to this case? One of the things, uh, James, is that the fact that uh, this case by itself is a distraction to him. All right. Complete distraction. It's a distraction the to entire him. opposition community uh, is a distraction yeah, to them. It is a distraction because there are things he should be doing, and at the time he should be doing them, he is here at the court. The second thing is uh, to note is that the fact that uh, uh, Mr. Kumis is saying that uh, he's not happy about the delay, and just like we pointed out, uh, the fact is the prosecution is using the delay the quote-unquote delay to sort of make sure that whatever they have, I mean, what, whatever they do not have as, as yet, they can find it and make sure they produce it within a time that these delays will be happening. Now, mind you, today, Mr. Kumi's fear is that today, like for example, the only thing they are here for is to hear the, 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 the judges ruling into whether or not she should produce the original copy of the framework document. After today, another date will then be set so that they can further proceed. All right? And that in itself is because what he expected is that, uh, I mean, what he expected was that they came to court and then those who brought him here, those who accused him of forgery uh, and, and criminal conspiracy were just going to produce the facts, produce what they have against him, yes. and then they proceed from there. What I was going to go to, um, they, 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 they was going to go to, uh, uh, because as a test right now, they, 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 they are still proceeding. It's not, it's not yet going to uh, a real trial. No, they have not, they have not got into that. It's not, it's not yet going there. So Mr. Kumis wanted this to, to just be an open and shut case. Oh, Mr. Kumis, you have been accused of, uh, of, of forgery for, and a, a criminal conspiracy. Here are the evidence and pieces of evidence against you. Oh, Mr. Kumis denied. Can we find a, 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 a common ground to settle? If not, we go to real trial. That's what he expected. But all of these delays now makes him to, to, to believe that it, it, is, it, is, it, is, it is deliberate on the part of uh, uh, the, the prosecution because they do not have any evidence against him. We just want to keep him here for the time being. So, so maybe maybe, so. To, maybe today they will be uh, uh, given a new path to get evidence against Mr. Kumis if the, the judge rules to say, yes, Kumis, you have to produce the original framework document that you presented to the National Elections Commission. It should be provided. I think the, uh, the prosecution is requesting for uh, all five. I don't know how they got the five. Uh, maybe there is an extra one that they should be talking about, but they want all. So let's see what, what is going to come out of this uh, courtroom today. And I'm told they are expected to be there for about uh, 20 to 30 minutes. Yeah. During that time, the judge will be able to come uh, uh, come out with the ruling, and that will also lead uh, it will also lead us to another phase of this serious uh, case that is ongoing here. And like I said, uh, the last time we came here, that President George Manan we are is one of the happiest men in Liberia, or one of the happiest politicians. 
because what's going to happen uh, as, uh, at the end of the day, we are is going to benefit from this case. Whether Kumis is right or Kumis is wrong, we are is going to uh, benefit from this case. It's going to uh, serve as one of his campaign messages tomorrow that yes, these people are now ready. Uh, you saw them even before the campaign. They, they, uh, they, they accuse another person of being, you know, a criminal. How can we give our country to people who are not even united? How are they going to unite the country? The, uh, the country is not a, a football place or it's not a nightclub. We need people who have expectation to govern this country. So we are has so many keeping messages against the CPP than the CPP now going to have in terms of uh, talking things that will be uh, real or not saying the government is corrupt, the government is this. This alone is a serious campaign message that can be used against them comes 2023. Especially for the fact that uh, the CPP, uh, I should say, forgive him, I said it was seen as uh, uh, as the biggest or uh, the strongest opposition block, and that block uh, threatened uh, the, 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 the presidency of, 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 of President George Weah. But since the split of that particular block, with counter accusations and counter accusations, yes, it plays an advantage of the, the government. And the government, of course, uh, or the CDC, they clearly say that hey, these people, in a collaboration of four, Cannot even govern themselves. They are divided. They are. They are in. Uh, they are in a peril. They. 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 They, they, are, they are. They are. here. They fighting amongst the themselves. Yeah. I, I mean, are these the kind of people that you want to give the country to? If, if, if just four political parties together and they cannot hold themselves, they will hold an entire population of five million people where they are always problems and problems and problems. Can they do so? Would they not fight amongst themselves if they were elected as the CPP? Would, not, would they not be in fight uh, where it would take the country into another because this other person will be seeking this and other person will be seeking that? And so, yes, you're right, James. Um, it's going to play in favor of the government, whatever the outcome. In fact, the very fact that uh, the CPP is disbanding, of course, that has already been a message from a very clear message. Yeah, all right. Uh, this is just uh, another distraction. Somebody has just gotten married in the court. Yeah, so, I think this is one of the simplest ways to get married. Yeah, somebody has just gotten married. Uh, so there are, uh, there, are, there, are, there are several ways to get married. You get married uh, traditionally, you get married in the church, you get married in the court. So whatever it is, it is legal. So you just uh, uh, done this in the court, and so they're moving. They're married. So who else is not married? Yeah, no, no one else is going to say. Okay. So yeah. So so yeah. That's it. James. It, it, it's going to play out. It's going to play out uh, uh, in government, the government's favor. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, depending on how Mr. Kumi's camp handles this, depending on how the others handle this, they will also use this as a positive that, hey, they saw my threat, they saw me as a threat, uh, Mr. Kumi's now, he's going to be saying, they saw me as a threat. But he's always saying it. And that's why they want to uh, clamp down on me, that's why they want to shut me down, uh, so that you Liberians cannot have the kind of leader or may not have the kind of leader that you need to transform the country. So if Mr. Kumi walks out of this, whether he walks out or not, that's why he's going to be saying, if he's incarcerated, he's going to be saying, I'm placed here today because of you. Remember last week when he said, this is not about, uh, about me, it's, it's, about, it's about justice, it's about, it's about the country, all right? So he's already started. And that led to a protest, right? Yeah. Peaceful protest. Where you have supporters coming out here, coming out to say they, they come in the interest of justice and all of that. Way, but we all know they come in the interest of Mr. Kumi. So I think uh, they're going to interpret it that, that way, and uh, he's going to now uh, project himself as as as, as that. Uh, 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 I mean, that single person who Mr. Mr. Weah, uh, President George Weah, that is, is a friend of and wants to silence before 2023. Yeah, so uh, we stay here awaiting the result from the Morovia City Court. We are still awaiting the result. Uh, both Kumis and the government lawyers are now in. We are hoping that at the end of the day, one of them is going to walk away as the winner of what was far, whether the government is going to be granted 
uh, that is the prosecution is going to be granted uh, what the file for that comments should provide the original framework document or this uh, the lawyer will go ahead, that is the law uh, the judge will go ahead by dismissing that to say no you bring you bring your your evidence and if that is the case I think it will be a very big win for Cummins and his ANC if the uh, if the judge rules in favor of him. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it is going to, and that's why um, uh, we, we mentioned earlier, um, uh, this particular ruling here today is going to be pivotal in knowing which way the case will go. Although it is not definite about the outcome of the case, but at this juncture, um, they, will, they, will, they, will, they will tell you exactly which way the case is going to go. And so um, if the judge tells the, um, the, 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 the prosecution, okay, this man cannot produce evidence against himself, you need to go and bring the evidence you talked about. Now, of course, uh, they, 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 they will just leave because that's what they wanted. They, they've got, the prosecution in this case have got nothing to, to lose for me. They've got nothing to lose. I think all they do is to make sure that they can, they can, they can delay and find as, as much as... Remember, James, they were asking for five days, right? They asked for five days to find uh, more evidence, right? Yeah. And now we've gone more than five days. Yes. Since they pleaded for five days, which they were denied. So, uh, the, 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 the more the delay, the better it, it is there to put together their, their evidence that, that, that they can use against uh, Kumis. So, is, is, is it a planned delay that they're going to be doing this till mid of this year? And then we see the ending part of this year, we get into 2023. Uh, what is it that this delay is coming up? Why? Now, uh, election is, 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 is time bound. Yeah. All right? Election is time bound. Meaning, all of what is supposed to happen, or what of, all of what is supposed to happen between uh, now and the election in, in 2023, October, uh, there, there are time limits set to them. Yeah. Let's take, for example, there is a time that the candidates have got to apply. Yeah. All right, to the Elections Commission. There, there is a particular time that they've got to apply to the Elections Commission. So what if this case is still on and Mr. Kumis applies? Now, it takes us back to the Brownie Samoga scenario. Yeah. All right, it takes us back to the Brownie Samoga scenario. Will the neck delay Kumis' uh, certification or allow him to participate in the election because of this case? If the case is still uh, ongoing, or will the next certify him and say you're qualified to be a candidate? And after qualifying him to be a candidate, and then he is brought down guilty. And, so and, it will and, take us back to, 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 to the Bernie Samuga issue. And just in case he goes to the election and he's declared the winner of the presidential election, and then one week after the, uh, the court comes out to say, whom is just found guilty? Where will we be hailing as a nation? And, 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 and that's... Okay, I'm okay, told they are now they are making not, their way out. Back out. Yeah. So, okay, uh, but that's what we are getting. I, I, I'm told uh, the judge ruled against Cummins, they authorized him to provide the document because the CPP framework document is a public document, it should be provided. So now the government has a tangible evidence. Yeah, so, uh, well, Cummings will now be, I don't know whether a definite time was given to them as to when to, pro to produce the document. So that's the next thing we need to know as to when did they produce the document so that the case uh, can continue. So Cummings has been told to produce evidence against himself, so to speak, uh, in this particular case. So that is the ruling that we, uh, we heard. Okay, he's now making his way out. Let's see if we can talk to him and then move to his lawyer. Alright, Dr. Kumi Spoon TV, we just learned that uh, you've been asked to produce evidence against yourself. Yeah, well, you know, I think it's best to let the lawyers respond and react. You are right in your assertion that we've been asked to produce evidence against yourself. Your physical appearance let, looks let, uh, different. Let the lawyers respond to that. You, 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 you don't look you, happy, Mr. Cummings. You, you look so depressed. What, what do you make that assumption? I'm looking at your face. This is not how uh, Cummings been appearing. How do you define looking depressed? I am confident 
I believe the law is on our side and we will prevail. You have been given two hours to provide original CPD framework documents. What do you say to that? I would say that the lawyers will respond to that. Hmm? My lawyers will respond to that. Alright? Well, thank you. Okay. Well, sir. So let's move in to talk to. Uh, okay, let's talk to the prosecution. Welcome, Chief, and you look happier than no, yesterday. I'm, I'm not happy. Um, Why are you not happy? Uh, at least the, the ruling sent out a clear message that our adversary clearly understands that indeed we are not, we are not joking with serious. Um, what is most important is that the, now, the court now has declared the CPP framework document as a public document. So the burden now is shaped on them to produce it within 72 hours. Um, from the onset, it was always an argument that we don't have evidence. Um, the law gives all our authority to seek the evidence when you see the possession of the adversary party. We have done that. And the law, they are, you guys need to get a copy of the ruling. It's a really extensive ruling, I mean. I mean, a magistrate court rule in Liberia, I think that's a victory for, for our own system. So I'm not happy because I wanted to commence the trial today. I thought it would be many enough to have brought the copies of the, of, the, of the CPP framework document so that I can start to give the theory of my case. Because as a prosecutor, I have to give the theory of my case and the grounds upon which I came to court. But you do what have this argument against you, Mr. Edgy, what? But, uh, you know, I don't deal with supposition. Say, what if? Because it didn't matter what the case. You do, so have, you me, do you have the quote-unquote uh, altered document, don't you? Altered document? You said one of the reasons why Mr. Comis was brought here is because he altered the framework forged, document. He forged. he forged the framework document, okay? Yeah, yeah. All right, so I'm asking, do you have that first? Oh, he, he has, has the forged document? Yeah, he must produce it. The, the original document, he must produce the original document. Then the copy of the document that he gave to his adversary or his, his friends will compare them and, and see. But there are vast difference. From the time the document was, was signed on May 19, 2020, he has refused, neglected, and ignored all requests to release the document. So, so if, if, if the document is not in your possession, I'm talking about the prosecution's but, uh, uh, we possession. We missing how, evidence rule. How do you, of law, How did you then know that the, that the document was forged in the first place? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You know, I, I see the I see the line of questioning. The copy of the document that he gave, he returned to a colleague. There was an expansive modification of certain articles, issues that were unresolved. For example, the issue of the essay strategy. It was unresolved. It was not included in the in the in the framework document of, 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 of May 19, 2020. It was not there, it was not captured. So how did it get in the one that he found? The issue of the vice presidential selection was not settled in a in a in a in a in a, in a original framework document. How did he uh, resolve it in the, in, the, in the one that was found? So there are so many issues. He did an extensive 19 amendments on his own. 19? Yeah. So, so, so the, the different counsel are also proud to challenge the ruling. I mean, they we don't have a problem. It's a procedure. We don't have a problem with that. I mean, it's like you can't scare occupy with Bush. Don't you think there could be a bring a delay to the entire matter? Well, you should ask them because I think they should hurry up if the man is convicted based on the string of the evidence so that they can appeal. So we can go to the next phase and then maybe at the end go to the Supreme Court. They, they, this battle will be long. Are you comfortable with this? The first thing we want the motion, so they're going to produce the yeah, evidence. Say the case, sir, the first motion you are not Nothing wrong with that. Sir, we, we saw the case, uh, I mean, we're still witnessing the case of Brandon Samuka. Are you afraid that no, this. No, uh, no, no. Today I'm in court. For, 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 for yeah, but I'm, I'm trying to tie the two. No, because uh, the will, matter is, is we, might, we might get to a point where, of course, um, Mr. Kumis might either be a convict or not. And uh, his participation in the election. No, I don't speak question. to that. I'm not. A, I'm, I'm only a prosecutor. I'm only a state prosecutor. I don't speak to the issue. Of so the I'm talking about dragging of the case now but because since him, election is time bound. not to delay. Let him produce those documents. He should not delay. Okay. He should produce those documents. Once he produces those documents, we're ready to proceed. Okay. I was prepared to do right, it. Listen to the theory of my case. You'll be so convinced. Right. I mean, that's one of the best things that anybody can listen to. All right, thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank so uh, let's move to Pumi's lawyer. Abraham, hey, uh, consider welcome to welcome, sir. to the media. Tell us exactly uh, the, the the judge has ruled against you that you should provide a document. The last time you were very confident that you uh, you were going to win this appeal, but today here we are. You are going to win this motion, rather. 
Well, I, I, I think you were the right. When we spoke to you the other time, it was on the basis of the law and our knowledge of the law. I can tell you emphatically that the judge is dead wrong. D-E-A-D. He's dead wrong. And we are going to take advantage of the statute to see a review of his decision. Nowhere in this jurisdiction has anyone accused somebody and then after the person shall have been charged and or indicted, and then you ask the person to bring the instrument that you rely on to prosecute the person. This is a first of its kind. This is a magisterial court. We are going to seek a review of the judge's decision. And based on our knowledge of the law and what the law is, we are cited that this battle will be brought to rest and will be The judge said that your reliance, which is Article 21H, does not apply to public and business documents. That he's, he's dead wrong. When the CPP instruments that they refer to, the original document that was signed before the subsequent revised one, there is only one single document that was signed on May 19, 2020. That was signed virtually by the parties. There is no, no, no one single document that embodied the signature of all the I think candidates. It's not virtually. Well, you, you need to look at that. If I say virtually, okay. I need to explain myself to you. That it was signed by Zoom. People were at their various locations, different locations. There was, there was a symbolic signing. When you symbolically sign the instrument, it means that everyone did not assemble at the same place and pen their signature at the same time to a single instrument. Okay, so that instrument is available. So if I if I if I if I got you correctly, you will be appealing this particular decision. So which means the 72 hours that you were given to sort of produce the original document, you will not be doing so but rather pursuing an appeal against this decision. We will pursue a review of the magistrate's decision. To the circuit, we are ready, we are energized, we have the ability and the capacity to take this matter up to the Supreme Court of Liberia so the full bench will make a full determination in this matter. So, this particular one I'm talking about now, I mean, the decision just now by the court, uh, the judge. Uh, is, is, is that you want to be going after so that it cannot be made to produce the, the, the document? Not that the defendants should not be made to produce the document. The document they are referring to, sign five copies, those documents do not exist. We have made it clear that the documents that they are referring to are two. One is the original signed document via Zoom. Two is the one that was revised by the lawyers, produced, certified by the parties, and filed with them. The document they are referring to to say that there was a single document, May 19, 2020, that was signed by all the parties together with one signature page. That document does not exist because the signing ceremony itself was done symbolically. Now, the second point is whether the judge in this ruling was right, consistent with Article 21 H of the Constitution. I'm saying to you, he is dead wrong. And we are going to seek a review of that particular decision up to and including the Supreme Court. Is this not another way of delaying your case when today uh, your client said he's not happy because of the way the case is being delayed? Uh, when you going through all of these things, is it not going to delay this case looking at the elections ahead of us? The fundamental rights of the accused persons are vital and very significant to us and we are not going to allow anybody from anywhere to step on those rights except the Supreme Court makes a final decision on such matter. We are not delaying the trial. Today we expected that the prosecution would have taken the same brother witnesses. You saw that the magistrate ruled on the motion and then he adjoined the trial pending another notice of assignment. Is that necessary? In my view, it is not necessary. You have given us 72 hours to produce a document. Why don't you continue with the proceeding? And then we have 72 hours to take advantage of the law. Okay. That is controlling. Like so, the, so, let, so let me uh, let me clarify that we are not. We will be happy if we are called upon to appear tomorrow again to continue this trial. Okay, like your client said before he went in, we asked him, he said uh, he thinks this is a deliberate delay. 
Do you share that thought? I do, I, I do share it because the strong basis I have told you for the magistrate to rule on the simple motion and adjourn the trial where he has given us 72 hours to produce the document. Remember, there's a list of witnesses they have produced. They produced the name of Joseph Boaka, Yubi Kanga, Mo Ali, and others. Where are those witnesses? And if you ask me, I'm glad that they have heard of those names because I'm telling you, if they were to come and testify, they will subject themselves to rigorous cross-examination. Only the truth, only the truth can survive rigorous cross-examination. So we'll be glad for them to come and testify. How soon will you call your appeal? You know, as soon as possible. Okay, also, thank you. There's thank been you. a precedent of such since you've been, you've been, you know, in the field in our street. I have not seen any precedent of such. I do teach evidence. I have not seen any case of such. These things is these things are only applicable in civil matters, not in criminal matters. Most especially when you shall have indicted and or charged a person with the offense, and then you begin to go out and involve and get involved with fishing expedition. That is, you want to go and look for the evidence. What they are doing now, they are looking for the evidence. Because if you did not see that document and you did not have that document that you say was altered, on what basis did you charge the person with forgery? If you did not see it, you do not have it. On what basis did you charge? You should have seen it and made the determination that it was altered and it was altered by these people before issuing a road of arrest. When you issue a road of arrest and now you want to use the arm of the court to go and find the evidence where it is, it is quite surprising. It is out of the ordinary and I have told you we will seek a review of the magistrate decision. Okay, thank, thank you, you so much. much. That's uh, the, uh, one of the lead lawyers of uh, Mr. Alexander Kubitz here. Uh, of course, uh, telling us uh, their position on the uh, uh, decision of uh, the judge to sort of uh, ask them to uh, produce uh, the original copies of the framework the document. And so, as it is, uh, uh, I'm still here. I talked to one or two persons before uh, we uh, wrap up this uh, live broadcast from uh, the grounds of uh, the Temple of Justice. But uh, I think it is concluded now. You've heard it and you've gotten it. Uh, the, the, the court, the, uh, the civil law court here, has, uh, the civil court rather, has uh, decided that uh, Mr. Kumis has prayed for by the prosecution, brings in 72 hours the, the original document of the CPP framework document. So I've been here, uh, James Gude Plomo, of course, uh, my name is Trojan, and uh, of course, James will wrap up for us. Choco Flama has also been here. Well, that is it. You listen. Cummins has been mandated to provide the CPP framework document within 72 hours. So let's see how it is going to work out. And this is a new beginning into this case. So let's continue following, and at the end of the day, we're going to know, but in terms of uh, the physical appearance of Mr. Cummins, it was different when he was leaving the courtroom than uh, before. Cummins always, Cummins always coming out with his hands up. Yeah, and he always coming out with that jubilant way, but today his supporters were all sad when he was coming out. We did not see that celebration. We did not see that, uh, uh, you know, moon, that zeal that he, he always in leaving the courtroom today. A Cummins did not dance. So it means that uh, there is there is serious uh, things happening trouble. somewhere. There is a trouble in the making. But let's see if Mr. Cummins will provide the document and he should by law provide a document within 72 hours. And after that we will continue with the case and his legal team has also announced has also announced that they will take an appeal. So let's continue following while they take that appeal. And like we told you, Spoon TV will bring you coverage of this entire case uh, from the uh, beginning to the end. We're going to bring you coverage of this entire case. So till we meet again, James Goode, Flomo, Trojan Kazulu, and, and Chokon Flama, together we've been here bringing you this. So in the two hours, <laughs> have been given for Mr. Cummins and his legal team to provide a CPP uh, original framework document. So we are waiting and it is now a public document. The court has declared it as a public document. So we also hope to get a copy of the original CPP framework document, though we are yet to get it, even though they produce it long time. So the court now said a public document.
we must get it. We think uh, today he's expected to address the nation by five. So let's also listen what he's going to say regarding this case or whether he will cancel it. But I'm sure he will do it. He's expected to to give the anti we are uh, state of the nation address speech by five p.m. Bye bye. Till we meet you.